In this video, I am going to tell you about the Jollof rice war currently raging in Africa, between Nigeria, Ghana, and Senegal. Jollof rice is a popular rice dish from West Africa. The dish is typically made with long grain rice, tomatoes, onions, spices, vegetables, and meat in a single pot. The ingredients used in the preparation methods vary across different countries. This is where one of the problems comes from. And one of the problems is, which country cooks the best jollof rice dish? The second problem is to determine the country where jollof rice originated. And this second problem is where UNESCO, a United Nations agency, has stepped in with a verdict confirming the origin of jollof rice in West Africa. Before we tell you the verdict of UNESCO, let us first explain how this war has been fought so far. Jollof rice war is fought without any shot being fired. Bullets are not used, and there are no guns involved. As a matter of fact, the only instrument allowed is verbal missiles. And these missiles are flying between Senegal, Ghana, and Nigeria and vice versa in bars, cafes, and across social media. Again, because West Africa is comprised of 16 countries, other countries are involved in the Jollof Rice War, but the trio of Ghana, Senegal, and Nigeria are the top contenders. Luckily, so far nobody has been shot or killed by the missiles. In a jiffy, we will explain how UNESCO arrived at its decision and the economic and cultural impact it will have on the countries involved. We will also give available information as to who is winning when it comes to who cooks the best jollof rice. Now that we have whetted your appetite, kindly consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. We will really appreciate that. Jollof rice is one of the most common dishes in West Africa. There are several regional variations in name and ingredients. For example, in Mali it is called Zaim in Bamanankan. The dish's most common name Jollof derives from the name of the Wolof people. Though in Senegal and the Gambia dish is referred to in Wolof as Sibijen or Benikin. In French-speaking areas, it is called Rizzo Gras. Despite the variations, the dish is mutually intelligible across the regions and has become the best-known African dish outside the continent. Regional Variations and Rivalry Each West African country has at least one variant form of the dish, with Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Cameroon particularly competitive as to which country makes the best jollof. This is especially prominent between Nigeria and Ghana, in a rivalry dubbed the Jollof Wars. What a spicy war! As a matter of fact, the war about the origin, which UNESCO has now settled is less intense than the war over who makes the best Jollof rice dish. The verdict on that is still out. Nigerian Jollof Although considerable variation exists, the basic profile for Nigerian Jollof rice includes long-grain parboiled rice, tomatoes, pepper, vegetable oil, onions, and stock cubes. Most of the ingredients are cooked in one pot, of which a rich meat stock and a fried tomato and pepper puree characteristically form the base. Ghanaian jollof rice is made of vegetable oil, onion, ginger, pressed garlic cloves, chilies, tomato paste, beef or goat meat or chicken, local or refined rice, typically jasmine rice, and black pepper. While Guinean jollof rice is prepared with ingredients such as tomatoes, onions, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, garlic, and bay leaves. These ingredients are slowly cooked with vegetable oil and spices to enhance the common jollof flavor. To illustrate the famous status that jollof rice has attained globally, permit me to digress a little. In 2014, the British celebrity chef Jamie Oliver published his recipe of experimental jollof rice on his website calling it just Jamie's twist of the dish. This twist resulted in outrage among Africans in the continent and diaspora with thousands of comments on social media and Twitter hashtags such as hashtag Jollofgate. The outrage was that Oliver included ingredients that are traditionally not associated with the dish. Jollof rice is an essential part of the culture in West Africa and one of the biggest cultural exports from the continents which the people are very proud of. So, for a British celebrity chef to tinker with that was unacceptable. No topic has been as fun a source of West African drama as the jostling over which country makes the best jollof. The hashtag jollof wars have turned Nigerians and Ghanaians from friends to foes, but also united them in their vexation at British celebrity chef Jamie Oliver's twist of the famous rice and meat dish. 
the long and brutal Jollof rice wars the clashes on social media, mass media and in person across the world and different West African countries have come to an end. The UN's Educational and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has officially recognized Senegal as the origin of Jollof rice. It is also known as Cebu Gen in Senegal, settling a long-standing debate between West African nations Ghana, Nigeria and Senegal. The dish, which is a staple in West African cuisine, is made of rice and fish or meat, accompanied by vegetables, tomatoes, and spices. For long, Senegal, Nigeria and Ghana have battled over who makes the best jollof rice, in a bid to claim the jollof rice throne. The word jollof refers to an ancient kingdom that was a part of Senegal between the 12th and 13th centuries. According to research by The Conversation Africa, the origins of jollof rice can be traced back to the entrenchment of colonial rule in West Africa between 1860 and 1940. During this period, French colonizers replaced food crops with broken rice imported from Indochina. Over time, broken rice became more prized by the Senegalese than whole rice grain and the dish known as Sibijen was born. The dish has become a source of pride and cultural identity for the Senegalese. The women of St. Louis, a port city in northern Senegal, are known for their remarkable know-how in this area and have been credited with adding finesse and elegance to the dish. Jollof rice is also closely linked to a particular way of life and the consumption of the dish is strongly linked to ceremonial events and the aesthetics of presentation and service. At the end of 2021 UNESCO included the Senegalese version of Jollof rice on the intangible heritage of humanity list. As recognition of the know-how of the Senegalese of an integral part of an intangible heritage. UNESCO has now made that inclusion official. The labeling should also have a positive impact on the economy of Senegal, particularly tourism, agriculture, fishing, and catering. Or, as some would describe it, gastro-diplomacy. But to make the most of all these advantages, Senegal must pay more attention to its fishery resources and, above all, settle the recurrent question of self-sufficiency in rice production in order to put an end to being a champion on what it does not produce. Senegal, whose reputation is based more on its cultural influence and diplomacy, has every interest in capitalizing on this trend. Thus, in addition to rice with fish, it will have to promote its broader gastronomic heritage to make it an additional asset for the role it intends to play in the concert of nations. Senegal is a country located in West Africa with a population of 17 million. It is rich in art and culture but also, above all, in a vast and diverse gastronomy. It is a democratic country, with strong institutions, making the Republic of Senegal one of the most stable countries on the continent. But what of the verdict on who makes the best jollof rice? While the debate on whose version of jollof rice is best might never end, for now, Senegalese can sleep easy knowing that their beloved Thibodayin is theirs to share with whomever they invite to the table. Since the 2010s there has been increasing interest in West African foods in the Western world. Jollof food festivals have been held in Washington, D.C., in the U.S., and Toronto, Canada. World Jollof Day has been celebrated since 2015 on August 22, gaining traction on social media. On November 3, 2022, the dish was honored with a Google Doodle. If you've enjoyed this spicy video, also watch the next videos on your screen. Comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more informative video content on Africa.